If you think you're gonna beat me, you got to show you're tougher than I am. Like this dream, I'm gonna show how tough I am, or was at least. This kind of opportunity comes along once in a lifetime, Hank. <laughs> I have to grasp it. You have to survive at first, Cole. Here are the veterans. The Japs love to shoot officers. If I can make a name for myself in this war, my future... Thinking of taking on a company of the Emperor's finest single-handed? <laughs> you don't seem the Sergeant York type to me. When I need your opinion, Kelso, I'll ask for it. They talk about officers like you in boot camp, Cole. They call it the Custer Syndrome. Guys who go around dreaming of fame and glory and getting all of their men killed in the process. Our duty is to lead, Kelso. And their duty is to die for your wonderful future? So Kelso is my current assistant, right? Who seemed to be a total asshole now, but seemed to be a better man in his past. Cole Phelps and Jack well, Kelso. With some day. people, it's as simple as chemistry. Life well, is as simple as chemistry. Two guys, but the progress has got in the way. Phelps, a good guy, who wound way too tight. And Kelso, a quiet man who could never walk away from a fight. Seems like oh, well, oh, it's a shame you don't like to talk about it, Cole. Ralph, friends who want to stay friends Cole Phelps, don't discuss right. religion or politics. And in my case, you can add the war to that. I know that bum. Wendell Bowers. I put him away before he jumped parole. Get after him, Phelps. I'll head him off in the car. Why? Wendell Bowers, stop. You can go screw yourself. Please stay a while and talk, talk to me about Bowers. Jesus Christ. Right yeah. Talk about our Lord Jesus Christ. Are you stupid? Do what are you doing? Get, right get up, get up, get up. What the fuck? What the fuck are you doing? So all I had to do is press up. He will get away. Fuck. Where the hell are the windpipes? Oh, he's up. Yeah, but the time ain't over yet, bitch. And I'm gonna screw you twice. Up your ass. Up your ass. I said, where the fuck? Oh, I hate this game, actually. Uh, oh. <laughs> Screw the letter. Yeah, yeah, we'll get away. Let's do it again. <laughs> Give it up, Bowers. There's nowhere left to go. Come on. Looks like we got a place to ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> they won't stand a bloody chance. Oh, that knockout. Mike Tyson, bitch. First round. What are you doing, Wendell? Your parole officer's feeling lonely. He's got a hole in his life for an asshole like you. Oh, oh, oh. You can make oh. it up to him in ten years' time. Watch your head. This hump will be back in the Iron Hotel by tomorrow night. Nice work, Cole. You run track in high school? <laughs> Part of the tradition of the Marine Corps and being an officer in the Marine Corps is the ability to make tough decisions. The right decision is not always the popular one. The right decision will get the men you care about killed. These ratings and your ability to give them frankly and truthfully directly affect your chances of successfully becoming a Marine officer. Candidate Phelps, you have the floor. Esprit de Corps. Merrill, 10. Franklin, 8. Weiss, 8. Eight, Donahoe, six, Kowalski, six, Hudson, Kowalski five, was the guy Kelso, be, two, which will be my assistant Donahoe, later. eight, Franklin, seven, Merrill, six, Kowalski, six, Weiss, five, Hudson, five, Kelso, one. Candidate Kelso! 
I'm sorry, Captain, but I joined the Marine Corps to fight the enemy, not get involved in this schoolboy chicken shit. Kelso, in my office, now! Fire beware. Butcher beware. For every cop, there's the case that makes you. You see that leg up. recognize the shining new star on the squad. Lizzie, Howlin' Wolf. The case that you solve that shows that you have the gumption. The gung ho, the get up and go to make you stand out from your average rank and file patrolman. Yeah. This could be the one goal. <gasps> who shot the man who's lying on the ground LAPD. right now? Could you stand clear of the body, please? There's nothing to Has see here. An ambulance? So please go We've away. We've called an ambulance and the police, but I'm afraid. Who's that, Alan? Front to an old man? Okay, stand further back and move along. It's your choice, but make it quick, people. Hey, Cole. You got here quick. My beat crosses 7th Street. Okay. You're first reporting, then. We'll get a perimeter going and move the crowd on. You better see what you can find out before the homicide dicks show up. Yeah. I'll be with you in a moment. I swear, this town Broad daylight. A crowded street. Now I've seen everything. Everybody stay back. Let us mm. do our job. <laughs> I'm gonna pick his nose. Eh. Oh yeah. Mm. What am I gonna touch first? Oh his breast. I wanna touch his breast. No scars. <sighs> oh it looks like I've been cut. All the bloody where the hell did he get shot oh, from the chest? Which means he was looking down when he got shot, which may, made blood spread o over his uh, uh, chin or cheek. Sorry. Do you like me? Do you like when I touch you? No! Then shut up. Oi, lay a ticket. The letter. Way we receive pearl earrings made out the bank of Arcadia. Yeah, shut the ape. Shut the fuck up and make it gonna scream. Yeah. All right, all right. Yes, it's a dead person. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you say it exactly like if the people who's watching have seen it. As many times as you have. I'm Officer Phelps, miss. I'm here about the shooting. Did you know the victim? <laughs> he was my boss. Mr. Gage. Did you Mr. have Gage sex with him, name. miss? Everett. And you are? Galleta. Clovis. Galleta. You are really pretty, Miss Galleta. You think you could tell me exactly what? What the hell? I look around the shop. <laughs> I was in a store when Mr. Gage, my boss, bursts in yelling that I'm late on my lunch. And? We came back. I was angry. So did you have sex with him? I walked in front. I won't tell you this twice. I heard shots. Even though this was the second time. I turned and saw Mr. Gage fall. Lying, Miss Coletta. You know what happened and why. Exactly. You're going to tell me. There's nothing to tell. I've done nothing wrong. How can you prove different? Your pearl earrings, Miss Coletta. You've been paying for them for a whole year. Stop lying. And tell me what happened at the jewelry store. I won't lose the earrings, will I? Yes, you will, because you are. Murder investigation. 
Mr. Kalu, Edgar Kalu, he runs the store. He's showing me a lovely watch. Mr. Gage bursts in. Mr. Kalu gets very angry with Mr. Gage, and they Mr. Gage tells me that all of the things in the store are junk, nickel-plated, made in Japan, and yells at me to get back to work. Then what happens? We get back here, and I hear a loud bang. Mr. Gage clutches at oh, his back. Sorry. I hear another bang, and another, and another. Mr. Gage falls to his knees. It looked very painful. Not if he was dead. Which jewelry store? Hartfields. Broadway between 5th and 6th. Did you see the I still think you're pretty Mr. girl. Of course I did. I got a police car waiting Mr. outside. Looked very angry. And we can always. He kept firing the gun. He kept no. Pulling the trigger. Hit the back seat, he you know. The gun I mean. the and Have some fun, back seat girl. And walked away. Mm-hmm. Can have some fun. Okay. You're making me angry, Miss Galetta. Is that what you want? Tell me why Mr. Kalu shot Mr. Gage. Exactly. Mr. Gage hates Jews. A lot of people do. <laughs> it's not my fault if he has nice things. Uh, so, brother. Which one of them was a Jew? But Mr. Babu da Bubulu. Or, uh... The bells. How many shots did you hear, Miss Galetta? It's difficult to remember. It sounded like there were so many, and they were so loud. I'm so confused that I love you. I need you to concentrate, Miss Galetta. Even minor details can become important later on. Well, there was one bang. And then another, and then three very quickly close together. So you probably emptied a whole magazine, yeah? Five. Thank you for your help, ma'am. Been very brave. Now jump into my car and have sex with me. Formal statement about what happened, to Mr. Gage. Does that mean I can still collect my, my? Never mind. Yes, officer, I'll make a statement. If you come with me, I will buy you those earrings. And maybe a couple of Rolex watches as well. We can have some fun. 